Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you today? Hello, Maria. Hello, Enrique. How are you today? Hello. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Today I am fine. How do you feel? How do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel? Fine, thank you. I feel good, da -na 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 -na. and I know that I would now. Da -na 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 -na. Is that good? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> da -da -da Watch me now, work, work, great, work it out. Yeah, you remember that song, Ray Charles? One of the most famous jazz uh, performers in that time was Ray Charles. All right. Who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What information do you remember from yesterday's class? That's right. What information can you tell me about Ricky Martin. What information can you tell me about Ricky Martin? Um, yeah. I'm born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh huh, uh huh. And December 44, 44, uh, 24. Yes. Nineteen seventy one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um and the age uh, twelve to join the Latin boy menudo. That's right, that's right. Um, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Somebody else? Somebody else? Alguien más que me puede decir que se acuerda de la clase de ayer? Mm -hmm. uh, where did you go to school? Where? W. W. H. Where should That's right. W H was and were. Can you give me an example? Uh, who was your favorite teacher? Very good. And what is the response? Uh, who was your favorite my, teacher? My teacher, my favorite teacher is in English. Ah, my favorite teacher is Mr. Santos. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, guys. So today we are going to move forward and look at the next activity. This is, give me a second. So yesterday we looked at this one, Ricky Martin. We finished, we finished this one about Ricky Martin, right? Yeah. And then today we're going to look at the knowledge check. Go back and read the article, Ricky Martin, and select the best answer for each question. Va a leer nuevamente y va a responder las preguntas acerca de Ricky Martin. I want you to do it in pairs. You will have five minutes. Ready? Let's go.
Hello, my friend. Hola, perdón, me he activado el micrófono. Este hacerlo voy ahorita. Vaya, entonces hagámoslo juntos. Yo ya lo tengo, pero igual lo podemos hacer juntos. Eh, dice que leamos el artículo de Ricky Martin. ¿verdad? Este, when was Ricky Martin born? Entre las opciones. Están en San Juan, Puerto Rico, pero no le estoy preguntando dónde, ¿verdad? sino cuándo. Así que sería on December 24, 1971. Hi, good evening. Hi, Roxana. Hi. Este, vamos a contestar. Estamos contestando las preguntas. No sé si usted ya las tiene listas. ¿La de cuál? ¿La del 5 cuánto? 5.15. Ah, la última. Uh -huh. Parece. Vamos a ver. Las preguntas. Cinco, Parece que sí, ya las tengo. Vaya, entonces vamos revisando y, y, y creo que Aprovechamos para ir, pues, contestándolas, lo que no lo hemos hecho. Vaya, la número uno, when was Ricky Martin born? Eh, um, 24 de 1971. Sí. December ah. 24, 1971. Oh, no, back in the... Sí, aquí. sí, esa es, esa es. Esa es. Sí, Enrique ya contestó la uno. Sí, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ok. La número um, dos, where was Ricky Martin born? Where? ¿Dónde? Eh, ¿Dónde? Eh, ¿Dónde? Eh, ahí, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Así en es, en San Juan, Puerto Rico. <risa> Puerto Rico. Sí, así, con estilo, Puerto Rico. <risa> Number three, who old was Ricky Martin when he joined de Latin Boy Band Menudo. Bueno, ¿a qué edad Ricky Martin perteneció al, a la banda de Menudo? Entonces, he was... Good evening. All right. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Ya terminamos o necesitamos más tiempo? Okay, let's look at number one. When was Ricky Martin born? When was Ricky Martin born? On December 24, Excellent. Where was Ricky Martin born? In San Juan, Puerto Rico. How old was Ricky Martin when he joined the Latin boy band Menudo? He was 12 years old. He was 12 years old. He was 12 years old. Why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Because, because he was because frustrated. He was, he was frustrated. Perfect. Perfect. Ding, ding, ding. Awesome. Any questions? Do you have any questions? No, All right. No question. No question. Let's move forward to the next activity. On the next activity, we are going to be looking at section... Teacher, teacher, teacher. Hi. 
antes de seguir, cuando usted pregunta si tenemos alguna pregunta, valga la redundancia, eh, yes. generalmente le contestamos no questions, pero ¿será correcto eso? No questions, that is correct. That okay. is correct. Uh -huh. or, okay. if so, so or, eso quería saber. or if somebody says any questions, no questions. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's okay. Ah, vaya. Yes. Gracias. Very good. Good question. Thank you. Now, for the next activity, we are going to be looking at tan 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 final exam tan 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 final exam, and we are going to be looking at section A listening. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. So, for this activity, I want you to listen to the audio and answer the questions. Listen to the audio and answer the question. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well... I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on 2nd now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up 2nd to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. All right, so I want you to work in pairs. You will have five minutes and I want you to complete the activity. You will have five minutes in pairs. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Norma Rosales, good evening. Empecemos, si gusta, entonces. No sé si ya las trabajaron, solo vemos. Yo sí que las trabajé, pero no sé si las escuchamos y las contestamos. O las contestamos, sí, si ustedes ya las respondieron. O necesitamos escuchar las nuevas. Yo no personal. Está bien, solo dejo de cargar. Ah, entonces solo me Vaya, yo solo dejamos que cargue. Porque no la tengo yo todavía, permítame. O alguien que 
la enfoca y la pronunciamos, no hay problema. Si gusta, le pongo el audio. Ah, está bien. Vale. No sé si vamos una Bien. por una. Yo porque, ven, ya les compartí la pantalla, la logran ver. Sí. Solo que yo ya la, ya la respondí. Yo igual ya la respondí, usted, pero... Marisa, si, si no, compártela a usted mejor y la respondemos. ¿no? no, así está bien, así está bien. Empecemos si gusta solo a pronunciar, ya que ah, lo tenemos ahí. Uh -huh. está bien. E inicio si gusta, Juan. Where are Helen M. Marcoy? A van a, a Department Store. A Department Store. Okay. Where is Smith's Department Store? On the corner of Fifth and Main. Yo la tercera. Mm -hmm. How do you get there? Well, Or up second to me to right. What is Mark going to buy? buy? Um, a squid. A squid. A squid. Mm -hmm. Where are Helen and Mark going? A bank and a department store. Where is Uh, Where is Smith Department Store? On the corner of First and May. How do you have served? Well, who sent you to May to ring? What is Matt going to buy? A sweater. Where are Helen and Mark going? A van and a depart, departing store. Departing store. Y no veo la siguiente. Podría subirla, por favor. Sí. Sería la cuarta. La tres, perdón. No, la segunda. La dos, la dos. La dos. Where is Smith? Departamento Story on the core of first and May. Okay. How do you get beer? How do you how do you get beer? Uh, wake up second to May. So why? What is Mark going to buy? A uh, sweater. Sure. Bien. Wow. Where are Helen and Mark Point? Mark Point, a bank in a departmental store. Where is Meets Department Store? On the corner of Fields and Main. How do you get there? One, one up second to Main to right. What is Mark going to buy? A squid, a squid. Sweater. Sweater. I was going to sweater. 
Pero, ¿Qué va a ver? Con el suéter, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Eh, yo voy. Sí, sí Roxana. Where are Helen and Mark going? Aval en a department store. Where is the Smith department store? On the corner of First and Main. What is my, no, sería la tercera, tercera, perdón. How do you have, ter, well, would secu, secu to bring, to ring. Yo creo que ahí es, en la tres es, how do you get there? 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 Get, así como se escucha, como se escribe, get. 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 How do you get there? How do you get there? There. 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 How do you get there? La well, última, la última, ya no se pronuncia. Solo ah, esa es la que está volviendo, ¿verdad? How do you get there? Yeah. A sweater. A sweater. Ajá, ¿verdad? A sweater. A sweater. A sweater. A sweater. Ah, me toca a mí, ¿verdad? La cuarta. Eh, what is Mark going to buy? A swear. A swear. Swear. Okay. Swear. No, Where are Helen and Mark going? A van and a department store. Yeah. Where is a Smith department store? On the corner of Fish and May. Get there, wake up second to me, don't run. What is Mer going to buy? A sweater. Bien, esperamos un ratito. Ustedes ya respondieron todo porque es el anterior, ya son los después. Ya son los finales. Ya los respondieron todos. Sí, ya. Sí, gracias a Dios, sí. Ya, ya sí. tienen el 100. Yo tengo el 90, con el 94, creo que no tengo. ¿Por qué? 92 tengo, por el primer, tal vez algún nivel se ha quedado a medio. Sí, a saber, quizás alguno me, me faltó. Alguna Tienes actividad. que revisar Pero ahí con la. Póngala viste. en curso, progreso, póngalo a progreso. Este no, ajá, es que la nota final, final es 94. Por eso le pide, ahorita uh -huh. debería de ver ahí en progreso, tal vez ahí podríamos ver. Uh -huh. Ajá, eh, es que aparentemente tengo todo, porque todo es como. Eh, no tengo, no tengo puntos faltantes, no sé Aquí están todas El examen las... medio le hace falta algunas respuestas, tendría que revisar para ese Bayern, medio. Mire, me ven el 94%, dice la respuesta. Ajá, es que en el medio le hace falta como hace una respuesta. Vaya hacia el medio. Más abajito está medio un examen. Ahí, si se fija, tiene el 80%. Ahí, medio examen. Revisa. Más arribita. 
más arriba, después del 3 está el examen medio. Ahí, está. ahí, ajá, ah, pues ahí ingrese. En la sección 3, entonces. No. Ingrese, no, en el, en ah, el examen. Me falta uno, me falta, no he hecho uno. Ajá, sí, métase ahí, métase ajá. ahí. Tenemos tiempo, métase ahí. No he hecho uno. Eh, la última ingrese está uno, dos en el último ingrese. Ese es el que le hace para que suba. Ajá, dice que lee el artículo, luego se reaccione el remedio casero correcto para cada uno. En el primero dice, a cool, what can you do for? Entonces, mire abajo, ¿cuál es la? Sí, primera la pregunta. Para ver, sí, ahí lo tiene también, la podemos auxiliar. No, yo lo voy a contestar después porque yo lo paso todo. Ah, vaya, de acuerdo. Ajá, está bien. Así. Así que después me voy a pasar. Voy a contestar. Bien, vamos a esperar al, al teacher entonces que nos saque de, de la reunión. Puede salir de la pantalla, no hay problema. Solamente es si vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad, María? ¿Perdón? Solamente es si vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? Sí, ahorita sí, pero no dijo más el teacher. Veamos si gusta el otro ejercicio, tal vez. Es de la dirección, ¿verdad? A ver. La siguiente, la literal P. Disculpe, Marixa, ¿usted sabe hasta cuándo llegamos de forma virtual? ¿Cómo, perdón? ¿Usted sabe hasta cuándo llegamos de forma virtual? O sea, para terminar este módulo. Hasta ahora. Hasta, hasta ahora, ahora sería. Ya sí. mañana ya no. Mañana, pues, eh, 
ahora ya iba a revisar plataforma y todo, y parece que ahora ya es el último día. Uh -huh. mm, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Vamos a esperar que nos dice el teacher, le vamos a, a consultar, porque yo sobreentendí eso hasta ahora. Ah, bueno. No, no es esa, es literal pena, sí. All right, is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Yes. Let's check. Number one, where are Helen and Mark going? A bank. A bank and the department, department store. And the department store. Mm -hmm. Where is Smith's department store? On the corner of Pears and May. On the corner of Pears and May. How do you get there? How do you get there? What up second to May? Right. Turn left or turn right? Right. 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 What is Mark going to buy? A sweater. A sweater. A sweater. All right. A sweater. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. Very good. Now we are going to look at section B. Complete the sentences. Number one, instructions. Look at the map to complete the sentences. So you are going to look at this map and you are going to complete these sentences. One, two, three. Any questions? Any questions? No teacher. No teacher. All right, let's go. Ready? You will have five minutes. And we're gone. Hi. Hi, hello. Good evening, Vladimir. Y por ahí la otra compañera, Evelyn Alvarado. Es literal P, ¿verdad? Sí, sí es. Bien, voy a visualizar lo que no tengo aquí la imagen. Ok. No me quiere cargar. El número 3 es verdad. Literal B. Literal B. No, pero ya del. Sí, el... son. El de las direcciones. Pero... Sí, sí, así. Sí, es. de las direcciones. Estamos, sí. sí. Este. Ustedes me dicen. Sí, son tres. Eh. Ya lo tengo acá cargado. La primera pregunta es de Store East. Veamos. Dónde next to la... people... El departamento de juguetes. Sería ah. Next to the Bank. Sí, ¿verdad? Next to the Bank. Next to the Bank, sí. Yes. Uh -huh. La segunda, digamos. Ajá. Across from in the movie the leather. ¿Y qué será esa concepción de al ir coffee? Así será. Uh, quizás así se llama. Ah. 
Es un nombre propio. Entonces. Acuérdate, que, acuérdate que el apóstrofo indica posición. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, no he dicho nada, perdón. Sigue, perdón, es que sería cross from, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. Sí. Bien, continúe la tercera. Marías Restaurant is on the corner of May Street and Secure Avenue. Is Bien, esperemos entonces. Ok.
but I but can't they see. but uh -huh. they didn't, didn't hear him. him. Yes, luckily Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement, and he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and slept on them. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called Jerry later Saturday Eight. night. Late, no Late. later. <laughs> <laughs> ah, correct. We call Late Saturday uh -huh. night. <laughs> Late Saturday night. Night. Uh -huh. uh, but he did not answer the phone. Say his father, we, we came home right away. We're just happy he's all right. Okay. I think uh, the past of uh, is said, no say. Uh, okay. the, yes. ans uh -huh, no, answer the, the phone said his father. Es el pasado de decir. Ah, uh, say his father. No, 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 say, said. no, say. no say, no, uh -huh, said. Said okay. his father. Uh -huh. Okay, said okay. his father. Roxana, you first. Yeah. Okay. Harry Carson, sixteen, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, aunt, but he stayed home. He got he got up early on Sunday in the when in the one style to the become basement. The basement to do laundry, to do laundry. He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed on it, but didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Luckily, luckily Jerry and food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement, and he had a place to sleep. He, he put some clothes from the laundry on the floor. All right, all right. Let me have one volunteer, number one. The department store is across from, on, between, next to, on the corner of. Next to. Next to, next next to. to the bank. Number two. Al's coffee shop is across from. Across from, across from the movie theater. Mm -hmm. Number three. Maria's restaurant Maria is. On the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Correct. Ding, ding, ding. Any questions on this activity? Questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No. Questions about vocabulary or pronunciation in this text? Theater. Yeah. Theater. 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 Yeah. Theater. That's right. Theater. Theater. Yeah. Theater. 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 Now we're looking at section C. Select the best answer. Select the best answer for each question. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. Let's go. Hola, hola. Hi, Roxana. Hola. Hi, hi. <laughs> hola, hola. Hola. Roxana y 
Norma. Hello, Ron Norma. Sí. Hello. Vaya, con Roxana ya repasamos todas las lecciones, toda la parte del examen. Pero lo podemos hacer nuevamente. Comienzo. Sí, comience. Where your parents born in the Jews? In the Jews, no, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Todas y después ¿Toda? de la A todas, todas, todas. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Sí. Where did you grow? No, permítame. Where did you grow? Up? I grew up in the top in Tokyo. Who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. When did you come to New, New, pardon, when did you come to New York? New York? I came to New York in five no permitame a Nineteen ninety nineteen eighty eighty eight. No, nine ninety eight. Nineteen eighty eight. How I how was your first the indigenous? It was a little scary. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Were your parents born in the U.S.? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. When did you come to New York? I came to New York in 1998. Who was your first thing in the US? It was a little scary. Okay, number one. Were your parents born in the US? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Number two, where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Three, who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. Four. When did you come or when did you come to New York? I came to New York in 1998. Five. Who was your first day in the US? It was a little scary. I want to show. Were your parents born in the US? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Where did you grow? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. When did you come to New York? I came to New York, New Year, 1990. The A. How was your first day in the use? It was a little scary. In US, in US, is in US, is it where I am? USA. 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 Aquí como se ve es eh, United States, es uh -huh. U.S. U.S. Uh -huh. Bueno. Bueno, number one. Were your parents, when your parents born in the U.S.? No. They were in, my parents were born in Japan. Where did you know? I grew up in Tokyo. Who was your first in this issue? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. When did you come to New York? I came to New York in 1998. Who was your first day in the US? It was a little scary. Okay, number two. 
Number one, were your parents born in the U.S.? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Two, where did you go? With, where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Three, who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. Four, when did you come to New York? I came to New York in 1998. Five, who was your first days in the US? It was a little scary. Were your parents born in the US? No, they weren't. All right, let's look at the next one. We're gonna look at number Where were your parents born in the US? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. I grew up in Tokyo. My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. I came to New York in 1998. It was a little scary. What is your answer? No, they weren't. No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Excellent. Number two, where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Who was your first English teacher? My first English my, teacher was my first English teacher was Mr. Seth. Very good. When did you come to New York? <laughs> I came to New York in 1998. How was your first day in the U.S.? It was a little scary. It was a little scary. All right, perfect. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, time's up. We continue tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.